All right, let's continue on. Uh, let's go ahead and test our uh, square root routine while we're at it. Uh, part two of the project. Entering root routine backslash n and then in our square root routine we're actually going to call it we're going to load immediate and v04 load address a0 you should get real good at this message 3 we'll go up and change that message 3 3 message 3 and then syscall save it save yes we'll go in and load it no syntax errors run enter floating point number and entering square routine and the routine stops. Okay, so we're able to call the subroutine. Uh, that's very good. All right. Now we have a choice at this point. I can finish writing the square root routine or uh, I can go up and finish the main routine to print out the number. Now, I, I know that um, printing out the number uh, without a square root routine means that it's not going to have a good value. Nah, that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, um, load an immediate uh, floating point number. So to load an immediate, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to load an immediate into F0 uh, uh, 5.0 to kind of fake uh, parameter return. And then up here when I get back uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put the answer in uh, when I get back from here I'm going to move .s into let's say f5 the f0 uh, uh, move parameter and we'll just go ahead and uh, let's say we'll just go ahead and put it in 12 since we're going to print it out alright we'll just go ahead and put it there <clears throat> no reason to save it. We restore everything and then we uh, load immediate and we want to print a floating point number. We already know how to do that. That's we load v0 with um, 2 and since the uh, number is already in F12 we can do a, a syscall. Now, doing things a little out of order here but that's okay it'll, it'll still work out I want to print out the message too so load immediate uh, v0 for load address a0 with uh, message 3 okay syscall and then we load immediate 2 to print out a floating point number and do the syscall let's go ahead and save this uh, we've written quite a bit of code here so I'm a little skeptical about it we'll see if it works uh, reinitialize and load don't like to write very much code before I test it okay go down and select the program open it up Ah, there we go. Okay, move parameters. Ah, there it is. We got a syntax error. And it's telling you here you got a syntax error on line 21. Now, you have to know what you're doing. You have to be familiar with the commands to kind of see it because it doesn't give you very much diagnostics. This one, I know I'm missing the S right there. See the X? It should have been an S. So I say OK. No more popped up. OK, move X.S right there. OK. I'll save. I would like to say I made that syntax error on purpose, but I didn't. And then file, reinitialize and load. 
Let me resume here. Open. And there's another one, load immediate. Now again, this is load immediate S should be. So okay, so load immediate dot S for uh, floating point. Save it. And now we're going to go back in. Load again. Alright, looks good. So, let's run it. 25 and entering square root routine 5.0. Oh, I got the wrong message. That's okay. Uh, we'll go back and fix that. So, we're able to print out the uh, message. Okay, message should be message 2 right there. Okay, message 2. I'll save that. All right, so this is part two. What we've done now is we've got the main routine pretty much done. We can test it again, but I think it'll work pretty good. It's where we can uh, do our uh, standard linkage and saving our uh, parameters and uh, uh, arguments and uh, saved routines, saved, uh, uh, saved registers, actually. Call the routine, get something back from it, print it out. Now the next part is to actually do the square root routine itself, and we'll do that on part three. So this is part two. Uh, play it a few times, get the program to this point uh, before you go on.